What's going on guys? It's Crozen, and I wanted to show you what is the best armor that you can get for your sneaky type of character. It's really a three step process. You have to find legendary gear, you have to upgrade that gear, and then you have to find an under armor piece and upgrade that with the ballistic weave. I will show you how to do all of that and I will show you what are some of the best mods that you can put on your gear and also show you what are the chameleon effects that you want to look for. So basically to start off, Obviously, you're going to have to find legendary armor in the game. You can find it off of dead legendary enemies, and also you can buy some from different vendors. Now, the most important one you're going to want to look for is the chameleon piece. The chameleon effect, if you guys don't know, I made a whole video about it, so you can go see that if you don't know what it does. But this is the main one that you're going to want to look for. And as far as I know, as far as all the research I have done, all these armor effects and mods, they do indeed stack. So more chameleon pieces will mean the effect will be greater for you. But does that mean that you should put more than one chameleon armor on? Well, in my opinion, I would probably only go with one and use the rest for using you know use the rest of the slots for something different and something that can make your character even better rather than stacking chameleon on all four or five pieces of my armor. But really, it's up to you, whatever you want to do. Obviously, the effect will be a little greater, but I find that one is good. One or two is good just enough, and you don't really need more than that. So, there are a few other effects that you can put on your armor, such as the Cunning, which gives you one agility and perception. You also have the Sprinters, which gives you an increased movement speed. And you have the Vats Enhance effect, which gives you a 10% reduction in action points while you are in Vats. So, there's a few things you could do, so you could really mix and match these together if you would like. You could maybe go with one Chameleon piece, and you could go with like four Vats Enhance pieces, which would give you a 40% reduction in action points while you are in vats or you can go with four cunning pieces combine that with the chameleon armor you'd be looking at around four agility and four perception added to your gear so really it's on you but make sure that you get one piece of chameleon armor and make sure that you wear that at all times so the second part is basically upgrading your chameleon gear or I should say your legendary gear in general so basically this is one of the reasons why I wanted you to get a little bit of points invested into strength not only so that you can get some of these melee perks but also so you can get the armor or perk now the armor or perk is very necessary at least for the ballistic weave but as far as upgrading your armor goes you do not need this perk just because you can strip mods down from other types of gear that you find but the Ballistic Weave, like I said, it is necessary if you want to upgrade that past one. So in order to save your time a lot, in order to save your time, in order to save yourself a lot of time and effort, you want to make sure that you get this perk because you will need it anyways. So basically, you go to a workbench here and as you see, we have like a regular chameleon leather left leg. If you go and look at it you would basically have two mod slots that you can mess with this you have basically like the standard material upgrade and then you have like a miscellaneous upgrade path that you can choose basically you want to go with the shadowed mod on anything that you can put this on now i know that the synth armor and the raider armor you cannot put shadowed on those types of materials but for everything else you can and you might as well do it the shadowed mod does stack and it will improve your stealth and dark areas significantly so you want to get this as many times as you can obviously there will be a little bit of a diminishing return because you're going to be using that effect a lot and there's really not a true how, how should I say a true percentage rate of how much it gives you so you're probably gonna see a diminishing return is what I'm saying so still you want to get as many shadow mods as you can on your gear and then as far as the miscellaneous goes I wanted to talk a little more specifically about the leg pieces because they have a unique mod that you can apply and that is the muffled mod now the muffled mod will reduce your detection while you are moving and this is the most important mod that you should be looking for since you are a sneaky type of character so you want to put maybe one of these or even two of these on both of your leg pieces because it will help out your sneak significantly 
Now, aside from that, it's really optional. I know that as far as the arm pieces and the chest pieces goes, there's different types of mods that you can put on those. Like I know for the arm piece, we have like weighted and aerodynamic things that would help you out if you are like a melee based sneak character. There's also stabilized, which would help you out if you are like a sniper type of character, but it's really on you. I can't really say what's the best here aside from the muffled mod. So really it's on you which upgrade pass you want to choose for from, but make sure that you have at least one muffled mod and make sure you put shadowed on as many pieces as you can so now for the last part that you're going to be interested in it's obviously the ballistic weave which means that you have to join the railroad and you have to do like one of the very first quests there and basically you talk to Tinker Tom and he will give you the ballistic weave now if you haven't joined the railroad or you did not join the railroad you cannot get the ballistic weave which means you'd be missing out on a lot of damage and energy resistance so just to show you really what the ballistic weave is and what it does basically if you look at this baseball uniform and if you look at it it goes underneath all of my legendary gear this is what you're going to be looking for you're going to want to look for something that can go under all your legendary gear i know that the baseball uniform is one of them there's also like the army fatigues the military 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 fatigues so there's there's quite a few things that you can go for as far as this route goes but basically if you go and look at the baseball uniform it doesn't offer me any damage or energy resistance basically all it gives me is one strength and one agility it doesn't give me any protection as far as that goes but once you have the ballistic weave unlocked you will be able to have an upgrade path which will give you an enormous amount of damage and energy resistance going all the way up to 110 in each of those categories which is insane and i also found that it's crazy because you can actually put this on like regular hats and regular caps and you can make them into like an armored type of hat with the ballistic weave which <laughs> is quite hilarious i think because it's just a regular hat and you're being able to put on this much energy and damage resistance that's just crazy so basically that's really all there is to it guys obviously I, there's a lot to do you're not going to be able to get your best armor right away you're gonna to have to do a lot of farming a lot of time invested into this game a lot of things to do but in order to recap what everything that you have to do basically you have to find chameleon pieces you want to make sure you find at least one chameleon piece. You want to upgrade all of those pieces with the shadowed mod. And you also want to put the muffled mod on your leg pieces. And then from there, you want to unlock the ballistic weave and put the ballistic weave mod on one of these Under Armour suits that you can get throughout the game. And then you will be looking at the best armor that you can get in the game. So that should do it guys and i hope you enjoyed i hope this has helped you in any way if it has please leave a like and please subscribe if you choose to do so and i will see you guys later